It was time for a meeting in Castle Black. The first to appear was Count Black himself, flipping in with the dark Pronosticus in tow. Next was his right-handed minion, Nastasia, the secretary. Next, Dementia teleported in. Then Mimi showed up, and finally, late as usual, Ochunks came out of nowhere. Count Black smiled. Is everybody here? asked Count Black. Unless my mouth is incorrect, Dementia began, with his usual smile. Then all of your loyal minions are present, my Count. Under his breath, he added, And myself. Count Black laughed. <laughs> Excellent, exclaimed Count Black. You know what time it is, don't you? Mimi cheered. It's time for me to get a cell phone of my own, right? Count Black stammered. Uh, no. It's I. Is it time for me to do some chunking? Ochunks guessed. No. A Count Black says, hey, I like my idea better. I mean, what if a hot guy decides to call me? Mimi interrupted. Nastasia held up her hand. Um, yeah, if we could all just quiet down... Why would anyone call ya? Ochunks asked. You never leave the castle, eh? Unless it's to go smack around some annoying person for the counter. Um, if we could just... How dare you! You... You... Big dummy! Yeah, okay, if we could all just calm down and... Hey, I'm just saying. Crack! Oh no, not blast! Before the heated argument could get out of hand, it was a bright flash that distracted the squabbling minions. <laughs> While I do enjoy watching you two fight like starving lions for a delicious steak, I believe our delightful Count has called us for a reason. Which, I believe, is to read a new inscription in Doc Pronosticus? Blick smiles. <laughs> Black! Thank you, Dementio. Now, Shall we get to business? While Black flicked through the pages of the Dark Renasius, Nastasia cast a suspicious eye over the magical jester. Yeah, Dementio, you seem unusually eager to partake in this meeting. Um, is there a reason why? Dementio continued to smile. <laughs> why, Nastasia? I simply want to be a part of this little group. No reason to get all nosy about silly old me. Black, Kablak explained. I found it! The next entry in the Doc Pronosticus. Today, my minions, we shall find out the next step in our plot to destroy the universe. Kablak peered down at the page of his dark tomb, his eyes eagerly soaking up the book's dark secrets. All of Black's minions leaned in close, excitingly awaiting to hear what they would do next in their eternal mission to build a perfect world in the ruins of the universe. It would be glorious! They would loyally follow Count Black and his mission for perfection until the very end of their games. Silence. Tensions rose. What was the secret that awaited 1,500 years to arrive to their ears? Count Black frowned. Uh, he began. I am a boogerhead, insulted Count Black. Everybody looked stunned, except Dementio, who always smiled. Uh, Count, yeah, I'm on board with what you just said, Nastasia began. But, uh, why did you just call yourself a boogerhead? Yeah, Otog shouted. Why'd you do that, Count? Count Black looked back and forth from the book to his minions. It, that, I, that was what was written in the Dark Pronosticus, bloody Count Black. He showed his minions the book. Count Black quotes, And so the Dark One shall insult himself with his childish epithet, thus furthering his goal for utter ruin of the universe. Mimi giggled. <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of cute when he insults himself. Maybe the old Pronosticus did it just to make the Count look cute. Dementio laughed. <laughs> ah, yes. The universe always demands the strangest from us, doesn't it? It's almost like a gigantic, uh, 
crank, Dementia said somewhat slyly. Nastasia pushed up her glasses. Well, um, maybe if you read some more, maybe it will make sense, Count. Fleck nodded and turned to the next page. Let's see, murmured Count Black. To fight against those who oppose the Dark One chosen to bring ruin, the Dark One must... The Count's yellow eyes widened with shock. Then... F is for friends who do stuff together, U is for you and me. Then he raised his non arms. And it's for anywhere, anytime at all, down here in the deep blue sea. Mimi finished, giggling happily. Everyone else, save Dementio, looked shocked. Um, Count, yeah, are you on some kind of new medication that's not on my records? Luck looked horrified. It told me to sing the first song that I thought of. I don't know why. Great googly woogly, that damn book is crazy! Ochunk shouted. Mimi and Dementia were both smiling. I love this! Mimi squealed. Let's sing it again, County. F is for quiet, Mimi! Nastasia curtly replied. Ah. Dementia smiled some more. <laughs> well, my Count. It appears that your destiny has taken an insane twist, like a novel written by someone whose brain is crazy. And so it went, each of the pronosticus' next entries being more ridiculous than the last. The Dark One must dance, the chicken dance. The Dark One must be over 9,000 plus in awesomeness. The Dark One must say that he can pun Chuck Norris. What in the name of the underwear is this? Kablak yelled. Eh, I'm telling ya, reading this for weirdos. Um, yeah, I can't really explain this, you know. <laughs> Come on, County, let's sing again. Only Dementio failed to speak his opinion. He stood in his pillar with an odd little smile upon his mask face. He was thinking, or rather, remembering. Earlier that day, Ble <laughs> uh, Count Black, tired from breaking up yet another argument between Dementio and Mimi, something about the latter's diary, was snoozing in his room. Then, with a small whizzing sound, a figure materialized in his room. This figure, aided by magic, floated over to the sleeping Count, a wicked grin upon his face. Dementio, as it was, gently plucked the dark Pronosicus, which always floated by the Count, out of air, and opened it. Smiling, he flipped to the next page the Count was to read the next meeting, and carefully, ever so carefully, slipped in some of his own pages that he wrote earlier. Snapping his fingers, which thankfully didn't wake the sleeping Black, the pages magically wove themselves into the Pronosticus's binding, until they yellowed and gained the appearance of the rest of the book's pages. <laughs> the psychotic jester thought, And now, my Count, since you have failed to send me on any fun missions lately, you are the first victim of my boredom. Soon the rest shall follow, like sheep who are blind to everything but the authority of the leader. Then, out of nowhere, Dementio pulled out a short piece of paper titled The Prank List, which had four names scrawled on it. Magically, a check appeared next to the first name, Count Black. Dementio continued to smile as he envisioned himself as a cat, playing with his food before eating it. Or pulling a practical joke on it before betraying it and taking control of its chaos heart in order to destroy the universe. Give or take. And now, to figure out what I shall do for my next victim. See you at the next meeting, my Count. Ciao. With a silent whoosh, Dementia teleported out of the sleeping Count's room, laughing silently to himself. <laughs>